My new Black Diamond Trail Ergo Cork Trekking Poles. Hey everybody, it's Mark the Lost Traveler. And we're ready to travel. Hey everybody, this is just going to be a quick overview of the Black Diamond Trail Ergo Cork Trekking Poles. And uh, they come in this box right here. And once you open everything up, you get these instructions on the do's and the don'ts of the poles. Uh, what I like about these poles, uh, prepare 512 grams or one pound and two ounces. The uh, extended link is 69 to 140 centimeters or 27 inches to 55 inches. And once you collapse these down, they'll go to 69 inches. On the ends there, as you can see, there's a 38 millimeter trekking basket. And to take these off, you just pull down and unscrew counterclockwise. That way you can put different baskets on there just to, uh, depending on the season and the terrain that uh, you're going to be in. And on the end, these tips here, these will unscrew too, so you can replace those. On the end of this one, I have just a protection, so when you have it in like your backpack or you have it stored somewhere, you know, this won't, you know, do any damage to whatever you have around it. Uh, this is three, put this one down here, three telescoping ends here. I've already got this one out. This is an aluminum shaft, and this has two flick locks. Just, like I said, flick that open, and then snap it down. This is a lot better than those screw types that, that uh, are a lot of poles, and those things get messed up. Plus, you know, once you really put some force on there, those things like to slide. So these right here, once you get that locked in, this is not moving. If you need to adjust the tightness on this, you, right here you can use a Phillips screwdriver or a flathead screwdriver. Um, this has cork grips, which I, which I really like. It absorbs all the sweat and everything. Usually when you have the, the foam type or the plastic, you know, they get all kind of like mucky and sweaty and it's just the grip's not very good. Then you have a lower foam extension here. Uh, these are fusion straps. And then on each one of these, as you can see, I don't know if I got it in there or not, but there's a, let me pull this down here. There's a left and a right. And to adjust these, just pull on the top and then just pull this little tab down. And what I found out uh, from some people that when I was on the Black Diamond uh, video, you don't want to come up above and put your arm down and grab it like this because if you happen to fall down, see how your, your hand gets kind of stuck there? You're not going to be able to break your fall. So you want to come from underneath and grip the pole. So if you fall, see how your hand's free like that? So that's a good uh, safety tip there. On the pole itself, you can see all the, the numbers there for the top half. And then I'll flick this and just extend that out. So there's all the all your numbers in centimeters. And one thing about these is these won't rub off. Uh, some of these guys have had these poles for three and four years and the numbers, you can actually still see them. So I guess they're like maybe lasered on there or something. I think, I'm not really sure, but that's how that is. And then how you want to set it up after you uh, get your link down, you want, you want your arm, I don't know if I can get in the video, but you want basically a 90 degree angle there on your elbow. All right. So I hope you like these. These again are the Black Diamond Trail Ergo Cork Trekking Poles, and I'll leave some links at the bottom. All right, and on that note, Traveler, I, oh, I, th I think I swallowed a bug. On that note, Traveler out. <laughs>